Alright guys, <clears throat> quick uh, video update of the tank with the algae scrubber on. It's been running now a good few months and I've had some good results from it. Uh, my maintenance now is down to 100 litre water change once a month. Clean the glass every two days. As you can see, no algae on anything. Everything gleamingly clean. And nitrates and phosphates are at a manageable level. So a big thumbs up for a DIY algae scrubber. We'll have a look at that in a minute now. As you can see everything's coloured back up after the incident with a cark stirrer. And some nice growth coming back. Right there. Happy again with the tank. Sounds if they come out to say hello. There's the algae scrubber. That was cleaned what's about a week ago. Some nice growth on it already. Um, the skimmer cup was emptied about three, four days ago, so we're hardly skimming anything now. Still got the two skimmers on the tank. That one was cleaned about a week ago. Don't really need the two skimmers anymore, so I should take one out or turn it off. What I've noticed and all since I put the algae scrubber on there, bio pellets seem to be lasting a lot longer. So big thumbs up for the algae scrubber. I think that cost me about £15 to make with a light fixture, the bulb, the screen, and all the other bits here. So we can't complain. I've got the calc stirrer on a digital timer now, as you can see here. So uh, there's no chance of that going tits up. It comes on for one minute in the hour while the uh, RO pump's running. But as you can see, the tank is looking very nice again. Well, happy with it. I'm going to start adding a few new fish. Now, I've not added no new fish since uh, the disaster. Um, these are all the survivors. I am gutted about my Achilles tank. I'm gutted about most of the fish, but especially the Achilles tank because it was so expensive to buy. But I will have another one. I'll treat myself. Alright, any questions, comments? Drop me a line. I'll do my best to answer them.